Good afternoon. Welcome to my class. I'm Teacher Irene, your science teacher for today. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? So now let's proceed with our new lesson. But before that, Let's check the attendance. May I call the secretary of the class for the checking of attendance? Lorraine, please. Good afternoon, ma'am. We have a complete attendance. And there's Okay, thank you, Lorraine. Thank and you. now let's have the prayer. May I call the president of the class, Miss Franz Corporal? Let's, let's bow our head into the presence of the Lord. Okay, thank you, friends. Again, good afternoon, class. Let's have first the online classroom rules. Number one, you have to choose a quiet and comfortable place to study. Next, you have to use your headphone to minimize noise, distraction, and clearly hear the audio. Next, mute your microphone when someone is presenting. Be respectful at all times. Turn on your video so that the teacher will see you unless permitted to turn it off. Actively participate in the dis in the online discussion. Take down notes on all the important things given. Doing other things while attending online class is prohibited. And so thank you and enjoy learning. So let's start with the game, guys. Let's have the race to the top. You have to classify the given and balanced chemical equations as to what type of chemical reaction using the online educational game NERPAD. So you have to go to the nerpad.com. This will unlock the difficulties and recall the previous topic. You were raised to the top of the mountain against the clock by answering five multiple choice questions. The first student of line will be the winner and will be the uh, will get the 10 points in the recitation. So you have go now to the nerpad.com guys. So the code is I, capital I, A, E, D, Z. So we have 13 uh, participants, 13 players. Let's start the game. Go. For the first question. Fe plus auto yields Fe two O T. What type of reaction? Good job, Angel. The leading player, one thousand points. Let's have the second question. AGCL yields AG plus CL2. Go! Okay. Leading player is Erica. AL plus FE to O3 yields AL to O3 plus FE. Third question. Leading player hard. 1,817 points. For the fourth question, Na2S plus HCl yield NaCl plus H2S. Player 
Sir, Erica, 3,766 points. Last question. CO plus O2 yields CO2. One type of reaction. Okay, so the winner is Erica with a total points of 4,755 points. So you have the, you get the 10 points recitation, Erica. Congratulations, Erica. So let's have, can you please summarize the, uh, or let's have a recall first about the lesson last time. We have the four types of reaction. What are the four types of reaction? Anyone? Yeah. The, heart, yes, heart. Reaction. Yes. Yes, heart. Combination reaction, decomposition reaction, single replacement reaction, and double replacement reaction. Okay, who can define first the combination reaction? The combination reaction, the reaction, the reaction, the combination the reaction, the reaction, the the following general word. A plus B plus AB. Uh, how about, yes, that's correct. Arabella, how about the composition reaction? Any volunteer? Who? Yes, Erica? Yes, Erica? The composition reaction, when one reactant makes the into two or more products, it can be represented by the general equation A, B yields to A plus B. Okay, very good. How about the single replacement reaction? Who, who is that? Yes, Nathan. Okay. Okay, and very good. And the last one is a double replacement reaction. Volunteer, guys. Name. Yes, Raymond. A double replacement reaction. Okay, very good, Raymond. So you all know what is the four types of reaction and the different formula of that. So now let's proceed with our new lesson. You have first to guess the title. You have to guess the title of the lesson based from the three given features. You have to type your answer in the chat box. And the first one again, who will type the correct guess of the title will get the 10 points in the recitation. You have a uh, wait for my go signal. I will type G in the chat box. Okay, go. The first one who gives the answer is Franz Corporal. Uh, she said that the title is Balancing Chemical Equation. Let's check. Yes, correct, friends. You got the 10 points in the recitation. So the title for our new lesson is Balancing Chemical Equation. Okay, for our learning competency for today, is you have to apply the principles of conservation of mass to chemical reactions and the specific objectives at the end of the lesson, you should be able to state and explain the law of conservation of mass. Second, balance the given chemical equation, applying the law of conservation of mass. And the third one is appreciate the importance of balanced chemical equation. Let's have now the first activity with the title is burning an isopropyl alcohol. We have the materials here, isopropyl alcohol. Can you please show me your isopropyl alcohol? Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Okay, we have... The second material is much thick or lighter. Show in companies, show in the camera. And the third material is a watch less or a blade. Okay, very good. The, uh, the first procedure is you have to put an isopropyl alcohol on the watch less. And then second, you have to light or, or burn the isopropyl alcohol. And please, uh, be careful, please, guys. And you have to observe what happened. You have five minutes to do the activity.
Be careful. Good job, guys. Good job. Be careful, Pa. Be careful. done in the chat if you're done with the activity guys very good very good if you're done you have to type done in the chat box very good friends or shaina very good nathan very good chamar erica arabella trisha daniela friends raymond good job guys so now it's time to write or type your answer on the guide question in online using the wooklab.com. You have to type out the code J G Y E E B. For question number one, what happened to the isopropyl alcohol after it was burned? Okay, very good. Some of you write or type their answer in light and it's up. Very good. It lightened up. Check. Okay, let's proceed with the second question. What is or the product yields? Oh, very good, guys. The product yields are carbon and carbon dioxide and water. Well, very good. Let's proceed with number three. What type of change in matter in burning of an isopropyl alcohol? Is that a physical or chemical change? Wow. Very good. Chemical change. The four participants answer while burning the alcohol, it evaporates, and it is called chemical change. Good job, now. Okay, let's proceed to the next question. Can you please predict uh, a wild prediction or a wild guess? Describe what happened to the mass of the isopropyl alcohol after it was burned. Same mass after it was burned? Wow. Okay. Same with the other answers. Same mass? Wow. Okay, good job, guys. And for the last question, number five, can you please type, write, show the chemical reaction equation of a burning of an isopropyl alcohol? Just a wild guess. Is, um, their answer is C3H8, but that one is an exponent, yes. Okay, actually, the equation is isopropyl alcohol plus oxygen yields carbon dioxide plus water. The formula for isopropyl alcohol actually is C3H8O. Uh, the 3 and the 8 is a subscript. It means we have 3 carbon atom and 8 hydrogen and 1 oxygen atom plus oxygen gas. Oxygen gas, it means O2. So therefore, we have 2, um, uh, two, molecule, two atom of oxygen yields carbon dioxide plus water. So again, CO2 and H2O is the product while C3H8O plus O2 is the reactant. Actually, that, that one is an example of combustion reaction. That is a combination of a few well, the isopropyl alcohol with oxygen. Because uh, when you burn, the bar, produce heat and light and new substance. Okay, now let's proceed with activity number two, balancing chemical equations. So here we have the materials, paper. You, you have to prepare a paper there and a pen. Can you please show me your paper? Yes. A clean piece of paper and a pen, of course. Okay, very good, guys. So, procedure. Let's proceed to the procedure. Procedure number one. You have to balance the given chemical equation by putting the correct coefficients on it. I will give an example later. 
Letter P, you have to draw a boy and a CISO to represent your answer. Remember that the number of the reactant is equal to the number of products. And for letter C, you have to explain your answer. In this part, guys, using a roulette spin wheel of luck, it will choose who will recite and well, who will recite or show his or her answer in balancing the given equations. You will, and then after after that, the other participants, uh, you have to listen po ah, kasi you have to raise your reaction. A smiling face if you agree, and a sad face if you disagree to their answer. So you have to make uh, a smile, a uh, drawing of a smiling face, and the other one is a drawing of a sad face. A sad face. I will show you my video how to balance a chemical equation. How to balance a chemical equation. Mm -hmm. Step one: make a list of elements. Step two: identifying or count the number of atoms in each element. Subscript are part of the formulas; it not be changed. Step three: multiplying the number of atoms. Step four: placing the fission in front of molecules. Coefficient is a number placed immediately to the left of each formula. A coefficient of 1 is typically omitted. And step 5, check your equation if already balanced. Adjust the coefficient to obtain the same number of atoms of the element in both sides. Like in math, the term coefficient is the number that is found before the variables. How does checking of answer? And to prove that the equation was correct. The left and the right of the equation must be balanced. And now let's have an example. I, I prepared another video as an example. So how to balance the equation? Let's have an example. So let's have H2 plus O2 yields H2O. This is how water molecules form. It's because of the combination of hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas. So first, in balancing equation, let's have make a line first. And this one, this side, is the reactant. And this one is the product. Next, for the step one, is you have to make a list of elements. In the reactant, we have the elements hydrogen and oxygen. And for the product, we have another hydrogen and then oxygen. For the step two is you have to count the number of atoms in each element. So let's count. And we have to use the subscript. Let's circle the subscript. If there's no number that is written, it is automatically as one. So subscripts subscript are part of the formulas. It may be it may not be changed. So here in hydrogen we have two oxygen is two hydrogen here in the product side is two and one oxygen. So in the uh, according to the law of conservation of, of mass, mass is either created nor destroyed. It must start and end with the same amount. So it must be equal or balanced. The left and the right side must be balanced. So here, the hydrogen is balanced, the reactant and the product, while in the oxygen is not balanced. So here we have oxygen is 1, oxygen here in the reactant is 2. So it, to make it equal, we have um, to multiply this 1 to 2, in which in, in step number 3, we have to multiply the number of atoms. So 1 times 2 is 2 to make it balanced. Then the 2 here will serve as the coefficient here. So, for the step number four, placing a coefficient in front of molecule. A coefficient is the number needed or placed immediately to the left of, the, of each formula. So, again, let's count here since we put a coefficient here. So, the hydrogen now is 2 times 2. 2 the subscript times 2 the coefficient. So, it is equal to 4. And for the oxygen, it is 1 subscript times 2 is equal to 2. Here, let's compare to the reactant. So here, oxygen now is balanced. Check. But here, the hydrogen is not balanced. 
So, step number five is you have to check the equation if already balanced and adjust the coefficient to obtain the same number of atoms of each or of the elements on both sides. So, here to make this one four, we have to multiply this one with four. And this one will serve as the coefficient and we will put uh, the coefficient here. So, let's check. So, therefore, we have the hydrogen in this side as 2 times 2, which is 4. And then here, we have in the product side, is 2 times 2 is another 4. Here in oxygen, we have 2. And then here, we have 2 times 1, which is equal. So, hydrogen in both sides, the reactant and product is balanced. In oxygen, it's both balanced. So, the coefficient we use in balancing um, to make a water molecule is 2, 1, and 2. So we have 2 molecules of hydrogen gas plus 1 molecule of oxygen gas that yields 2 molecule of uh, 2 molecule of water. So we got 2, 1, 2. And for the next step is you have to represent this with a, a, a CISO and a boy. So let's draw a CISO. And then here we have 4 uh, four molecule four molecules of hydrogen so we have four one two three four and two molecule of oxygen while in the other side we have one two three four another hydrogen and two oxygen so four hydrogen in both side and two oxygen in both side thank you so again remember to solve and you have to explain how to solve and you have to show the representation using a boy and a seesaw so you have five minutes to do the task, guys. So let's have number one. The first given is F8 plus O2 yields Fe2O3. So who will be the chosen student who will explain her or his answer? Yes, Lorraine. Lorraine, where are you? Okay, can you please explain your answer for number one? Good job, Lorraine. Can you please raise your reaction? Okay, nice. All of you show me a smiling face. Let's check her answer. 
for number one, it is 432. And Lorraine is correct. Okay, good job, Lorraine. Let's have number two. The equation for number two is AGCL yields AG plus CL2. So, who is the lucky student who will answer this question? Yes, Angel. Angel, can you please show us your answer? Angel. And now, let me see your reaction, guys. Oh, all of you give a smiling face. Okay, let's check. Okay, good job, Angel. The answer is 2 to 1. Let's have number 3. The given equation is AL plus Fe2O3 yields AL2O3 plus Fe. So, who is the lucky student? Student. France, Corporal. Okay, go, France. So we have the equation here, and the given is AL plus FE203 gives AL203 plus FE. So how about to separate six both sides? And after that, write down the reactant each side through these sides. We have AL, FC, and O. And the other products have it now. AL, FC, and O. Now, write the substance of each reactant. So in these sides, AL is equal to 1. FC is equal to 2. And O is equal to 3. And the other product sides again. AL is equal to 2. FC is equal to 1. And O is equal to 3. Take note that if no subscript written, it is automatic one. Now, we need to find down balance reactant. So my reactant is balance is AL and FC. And let's let put first the, A, the AL. So I put my I put I put two in front of AL as my coefficient. So two times one is equal to two. Now the both AL is totally balanced. And after that, I put coefficient again in front of Fe. And 1 times 2 is equals to 2. Like what I said before, it's no subscript written is automat 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 automatically 1. Now we have the balance and balance reactant. So the final position is 2, 1, 1, and 2. So who represents the to this diagram so that I balance the unbalanced reactants. So we have two aluminum, two iron, and two oxygens, two oxygens in reactant, same with the other side. Good job, friends. And now, can you please show me your reaction, guys? A smiling face or a sad face? Okay, all of you, show me a smiling face. Okay, so France, the coefficient given by France is 2, 1, 1, 2, and that is correct. And now, let's summarize what you have learned. 
uh, you have to answer the following question here in this task you have to answer the following question this one is based in our objective for the day you have you will type your answer in socrative.com so you have to go to socrative.com and you have to type the quote capital all capital or caps lock ibang pili sa 6727 let's go let's show the answers okay according to heart cell the law of conservation of mass states that mass is in an isolated system is neither created nor destroyed by chemical reaction or physical transformation check let's have number two question is the following equation balance or unbalance fe plus s yield fes 13 students let's show the answers oh very good all of you um type the word balance you uh, you are all correct the correct answer here is balance fe plus s is fes that is balance they all have one as a coefficient one 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 okay let's have number three for number three question, true or false, when balancing chemical equations, the substrate can be changed? Okay, 13 students type their answer. Let's show the answer. Okay, all of you, oh, except Chalmar. All of you type or your answer is false, except Chalmar. Okay, what is the answer here? True or false, when balancing chemical equations, the substrate can be changed? The correct answer, guys, is actually uh, any volunteer in the class? What's the answer here? Well, any well, name? Well, name, please? Well, Lucen or Raymond, what's your answer here? False. Well, False. Why? Because? Because subscription cannot be changed while balancing equations. Okay, very good. The subscript cannot be changed in balancing of chemical equation so the answer is false okay 13 students type their answer let's show your answer according to arabella arabella this is an important in guiding principle in science and also to predict the amount of reactant you need in the balance equation arabella that's correct you need to uh to predict the amount of reactants you need to balance a equation Wow, you are all very good, guys. So now let's proceed. Let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Okay, now any question, guys, before we proceed to the quiz, to, to the five item multiple quiz. Any question? Any clarification? Any question about our topic? Any question? No one is answering. Okay, none. So let's check your understanding. Let's have a quiz. You have to answer the five item multiple choice using the again. You have to go back to the Socrative.com. And again, you have to type the Evangelista Caps Lock 6727. Let's go, guys. Let's have number one. Are you in, guys? You have to fill in the blank. The law of conservation of mass states that matter cannot be created nor blank. Let's have number two. How does the balanced chemical equation satisfy the law of conservation of mass? Okay, let's proceed to number three. When balancing equations, a blank can be placed to the left of a formula of a substance to make the equations balanced. Let's have number four. What are the coefficients needed to balance the chemical equation below? Oh, actually, here's the given. It is Al plus FeO yields Fe plus Al2O3. Let's proceed to number five. For number five, which of the following correctly balances this equation? Here is the summary. So, this is the summary of the quiz. Trisha got the perfect score, 5 points. Shaina, 2 points. Nathan, 5 points. Loseno, 4 points. Hart, 4 points. Hartzell, 4 points. Erica, good job. Erica, 5 points. Daniela, 4 points. Corporal, 5 points. Corporal, France, good job na. 
Shalmar for four points, Arabella four points, and Angel four points. So you are very good in number one. Oh, for number two, let's check that number two. Shalmar. Letter D, actually, the answer is here is letter D. During a chemical reaction, the total amount of matter stays the same. Number three, name this. Catalina Erica. The correct answer is C, coefficient. And for number four, name this. Yes, Arabella. Letter A is the correct answer. And for number five? Raymond. Letter B. Letter B. Okay. Okay, for the last task, you have to complete the level three challenge in pet interactive simulation in balancing chemical equation as a practice. You have, I will put this one in your, in our chat box. You have to solve and answer the three challenge game. And you have to answer me later on how you solve and answer the three challenges in that game. And what is the strategy you use or discover in answering or balancing the different equations, okay? Okay, this is the pet interactive simulation game, balancing chemical equation. Click the game. So now let's have a volunteer to explain how she how she solved or answered the three challenge in the game. And can you please? Uh, we have three shabu In this chemical equation, compound is very active, while the product is M plus The first step to make the equation balance is to put one as the in chemical. And same as on the N2 and O2. Now let's check if the equation is balanced and very active as well, while on the other side is two. So therefore, let's adjust the equation in the active and get two. We'll add one in N2. And that's it. Now in balance, let's check it. Good job, Trish. So, guys, very good. So, any question, guys, about the lesson for today? If you have a question, can you please type your question in the chat box? Or if none, you have to type none in the, in the chat box. None, none. Okay, okay, guys. Bye. So, thank you for listening. Thank you, guys, for participating. So for our next topic for tomorrow is we have the factors or the different factors that affecting the chemical reaction. Hi. Thank you. I hope you enjoy and learn something today. I'm your teacher Irene. Till next time. Bye.